Okay, we are close enough to a boil for me. Uh, we can start extracting some of the uh, alpha acids from the hops. Um, <clears throat> the hops are added at this point because uh, it's required to boil them to uh, get the, the bittering components from them. Uh, when we add hops to the beginning of the boil, uh, like at this point, this is going to add bitterness to the beer. It doesn't mean the beer is going to be bitter, it's just going to balance it because otherwise it would be pretty sweet. Um, so go ahead and add the hops. My, my daughter is adding the bag of hops. Okay, just go ahead and dip them right in. Kind of, kind of, there we go. And as I said, I've got them in the muslin bag. These are going to take on some water. And we're going to stir it on a regular basis. And uh, they will boil for 90 minutes now. 15 minutes before the end of the boil, we'll add uh, another dose of hops, this for flavor and aroma. Okay. Next is the turbinado sugar. Okay, it's very common for English milds to include some sort of adjunct like corn or sugar or molasses. This is turbinado sugar, it's just natural cane sugar. Okay, I'm going to add this. Okay, there we go. Now things are boiling up pretty nicely now. It's okay. Thank you. Is my daughter helping me out here. <clears throat> All right, so time to give things a little bit of a stir here. It occurs to me that I may not have uh, given enough room for the hops to expand in this bag, so uh, I may just let them go defeat the purpose of the muslin bag, but we'll see. Uh, you do need to give the hops some room to expand. I tied the knot a little too close to the end, and you can see they're already kind of bulging out. Uh, you want to get the, the exposure as much as possible. These hops are not going to add a whole lot of flavor or aroma to the beer. It's mostly going to be the bitterness, because while boiling uh, releases those alpha acids, and uh, converts those to, to bitter components. It also reduces uh, the essential oils that create the flavor and aroma, uh, which is why we add the hops to the later uh, later stage. Where they won't they won't contribute very much bitterness, but they will contribute flavor and aroma. So now we've got uh, a long wait, 90 minutes. Uh, we're going uh, so here in about an hour and 15, we're going to be adding the second hop addition, and we'll go from there correct the mistake that I made earlier. Um, used a pair of tongs to pull out the other muslin bag of hops and uh, we put it over top of another one and then uh, cut the bag with a pair of scissors and then uh, put it into a different bag with uh, the knot tied much higher so this will uh, allow room to expand and get uh, proper exposure. Now you can sort of make tea with it. All right, much better this time, and let's let these go. Okay, we've been boiling now for an hour and 15 minutes out of the uh, of the hour and a half, and 90 minutes. It's hard to see because of the steam, but our volume is reduced by almost a gallon. I'd say about three quarters of a gallon right now. Uh, we've got 15 minutes left to go, and so we have the final hop addition. All right, these are just for flavor and aroma. They'll contribute very little bitterness to the beer whatsoever. And at this point, uh, I'm going to be getting everything ready for the chill setup. You want to get this cold as quickly as possible. And that will be our next step down in the basement at the utility sink, which I've just gotten ready for it. I will be back then.